welcome back to my heroes let's play looks like we already did all those all right so we got like seven minutes so we'll do a grand arena real fast so i guess we'll take a shot at number one here mm. All right, Polaris down, but I think we are in good shape here. Aurora's down, but we just saw Sia, though. Oh, we saw Maya. All right, come on. All right, just Jorgen. We got it. Come on, let's get lucky. No, it's us, Aurora. Come on. Come on, Ju, you can do this. Okay, there goes Iris. Nope, not quite. Gotta get a bit luckier than that. And uh, this is probably a loss here. This team's not that good. Alright. That leaves us about five minutes of my arena time, so we'll do that. Come on, good luck. There goes Dante. No, oh, come on. Nope, nope, nope. <sighs> so close. So close, but couldn't quite get Heidi down. Oh, this one looks actually pretty good. This one should be easy. We just put an Isaac over Sebastian and uh, win that way, I think. Only Aurora and, well, I guess Star Ryan has stuns too, but I think if we put, I think we'll be better off like this. Let's try this. Let's try it. Boom. There you go. Boom, boom. <laughs> 12 seconds. Aurora doing the damage there. Some people, like, really don't understand, like, Aurora's, like, absolutely ridiculous since her new Ascension ability. Like, if you haven't seen my video yet, I did a top five best heroes video. And Aurora's in that list, and a lot of people were... I saw a lot of people disagreed about Aurora. I'm like, no, Aurora. So people, like, someone's trying to argue, say, well, Mira can kill its entire team all at once. Like, so can Aurora. Like, Mira can tank. Like, so can Aurora. Like, Aurora's a better hero than Amira. Like, I like Amira just fine. Like, I use her quite a bit on my main count, but a lot of things that they were saying about Amira, like, also applies to the twins. I wouldn't say twins are top five, but they are twins are really, really, really good though. I mean I'd probably rank twins higher than Amira. Even though I do think Amira's a really fine hero on all on her own. But Aurora though, she she's top tier. Absolutely top tier. Let's try this. Oh no, we saw Celeste. That's really bad. Oh, 
Oh, no, no, no. Unless Arachne somehow, like, carries hard. Like, I don't think we're going to win this one. I mean, Arachne's going to have to carry super hard. All right, Celeste is gone. Let's speed this up because I'm running low on time. Yeah, and I ain't gonna win here. Rackney trying to hard carry here. Okay, let's just go for death dealer. Okay, got Morgan, we got Aurora, we got Arachne. We can win this, but we might need a bit of luck here. Okay, Heidi's down. Okay, get Rufus, come on. No, we're not going to get it. We're going to time out. This is time. Maybe enough time to do one more time. We're really close on time, though. Okay, yeah, try again. Less than a minute. Come on. Just a few seconds. Okay, we got our fight in. Okay, we should we should be able. This should be good. If we get If we win this fight, we should be good for first place. Ah, oh, we lost our Celeste. Okay, but Maya's alive still. Might be okay. I mean, Maya's alive is a big game changer. Okay. Okay, there goes Dante. There goes Dante. Down goes Dante. Yeah, we don't have Cursed Flame, but we do have Maya helping out with a lot of pure damage this time, so this changes quite a bit there. Come on. Not doing enough damage. Come on. Nope, this ain't gonna work. We're not gonna win. Need Cursed Flame. Oh, but Maya's not gonna be able to ult again. Yeah, it's another loss. Oh well. Finish 11th, it looks like. Sucks. 11th on both. One 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 one. Second place in guild again. We can lost our so we won the war, but we finished second, I guess. I'm not quite sure how we managed to do that. We actually won, but uh Oh, we lost to Fennec, that's what happened. I see. Fennec took first. And uh, Power of the Titans is up. And this, there's a lot of controversy because they nerfed this event since they after they launched it. Because this originally was Titan Skin Stones, which are an okay buy. I wouldn't say like an amazing, amazing deal. But they were there. But now they nerfed it. And uh, now this event's pretty much garbage. Um, But uh, Power of the Titans. Unleashed Sunlight and Darkness Space. The Gifts of the Earth. Um, in the blazing rage of fire as the Titans and minions stand alongside you to vanquish evil. So, yeah, it's a thermal coin event. Don't need anything from this one. I mean, 
what we do with our emerald coins, I don't know. Like, there's really nothing worth buying. Maybe Titan Potions, I guess. I mean, it's just, it's a garbage event, so... They they took the only thing that was actual worth from the event, so now it's literally garbage, so... I'm not even gonna try doing any of the quests. I mean, maybe I'll do the... the I guess I have uh, the summoning spheres, so maybe I'll do those, because I have those, but... Just because I have plenty of these, but otherwise, there's, I'm not going to use my Titan Skin Stones. I'll save them for maybe a better event. Wish I saved some Titan Skin Stones on the main account, or have actually bought the Titan Skin Stones for the removal from the shop, but I didn't. But blog players are really pissed about the change. Like, they're really pissed. I actually did a short video talking about the change, like, and how players are pissed about it. But yeah, no, honestly, you should, this is something you should send feedback uh, to use to get help. Send feedback about it. Tell them to unnerf the shop, because that's, that's honestly garbage. They keep doing this events. They'll like release an event and there might be like one good deal or something and they'll like nerf it. Like it's like, why why do you keep doing this? Like, why don't they just figure out what they want in the event before they launch it? And if they launch an event with like an item they don't actually want, well just run it like that. And then change it for the next event. Next time they run that event. Quit quit changing mid event though. That's what I think they need to do. Quit changing stuff mid event. It's getting ridiculous. All right. Yeah, no, don't buy those elemental dolls. They're literally garbage. All right, it gives me 49 coins. Okay, there you go. That's all we're going to do on that event. Let's see. Let's try a leg again, though. Maybe we'll get luckier. Oh, there goes Polaris. Oh no, there goes Sia. Oh no, it's just Arachne. We're gonna lose this fight, I think. I don't think Arachne can beat Albus. I think Arachne's gonna die to Albus here. This is a uh, loss here. Albus killing her. Yep. All right, well, that was a really bad fight. Did not get good numbers that time at all. Watch, you're gonna beat this one now, though, probably. Because that's how it always goes. You'll beat one and then lose the other. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe we're gonna lose this one pretty badly, too. You know, this this was uh, some numbers going our on our way. Uh, we're getting really bad luck here. Okay. I guess we're gonna lose both these fights pretty horribly. Come on, you didn't even get Dorian down. Okay, that was that was really bad. The dice rolls were on his his uh, side that match, that's for sure. All right, let's do it. Actually, a decent uh, day. We had pretty good on items, eh? Kind of autopilot, but this is actually one of our better days in a while. Nice. Maybe not paying attention is the key to success. Nah, it's totally random, so. All right. Let's do it to it.
All right. The yeah. All right. Da uh -huh. Getting eaten up there. Totem, totem, totem. No. In stones. Right, Nebula. Nebula. Glyphs. Oh, wait, we should check. We got a new quests yet? Yes, we do. New quests. Boom. Yeah, sometimes they reset with, like, set on their own, and sometimes they don't. It's really weird. Freaking marksman and arena. I hate those kind of quests. At least Jews, like, able to do damage these days. All right, two oh eight. We not done glyphs yet. That's right. We were going to. Then I started talking glyphs. We're just kind of building up our glyphs right now. We don't really have a uh, any specific target, so we're just kind of saving for like an inevitably either like a new hero or something where it'll be like a quest to like do a bunch of glyph quests or something for like rewards so now we're going to be prepared for those since we kind of got all the heroes we really need glyphs up on and i'll have some like for one if i something if i need to put glyphs in somebody else i will have the glyphs ready three days we have time to get those hero souls Alrighty here, what else do we got? Adventure. Ooh, we'll probably read that tomorrow tonight. Do that but uh we Adrian, we already did that. Alrighty here. So it is Friday, which means we can probably say hi to Osh the Eternal Keeper. So you go open these though. Alright, we're still on 140 boss. That means we're gonna do Aurora solo. She can get a lot of damage that way. When we do the Aurora solo line. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, then they all die. Boom. <laughs> now I was going to do like another 100k damage. 148k, that's pretty good. Yeah, we have that maxed out all of her patron now. So it said her healing's pretty good now. We're gonna do over a million damage here.
<laughs> oh, got nightmare, didn't it? I guess I spoke too soon. I jinxed myself. That over a million damage comment. I jinxed myself, guys. Let's see. Do we put, maybe we, we need eight in here, I forget. It's been a while, it's like so we don't get the opportunity to do the 140 boss too often. Uh, good question. Kinda think we don't need eight in here. I think Maya's strong enough to just tank these guys. Yeah, it's looking good. All right, well. All right, guess it's just gonna be Maya. Celeste didn't survive. Probably should have manualed her sooner. Nope. All right, well, I got a million damage. Yeah, probably should have kept Celeste in light mode manual a bit sooner. Oh, well. Too late now. Not the end of the world. Uh, da -da. I think we want him here, though. Sure. There we go. Blocked. Look at this damage, ha. Huh? Four of his damage actually working pretty well here. All right, well, three million's not bad. Because we've already passed the five million mark, which you should have no problem getting that 10 million this week. <laughs> He's gonna do chip damage. We'll probably have about 3.7 million on this fight. <laughs> we'll probably get one more hit with Albus in. All right, I think that'll do it. Oh, they got three, seven, five, six, huh? Nice. Boom. That was a pretty good fight. Okay, and then the best of the rest. Okay, let's go. Let's get some damage in, guys. Yeah, go Galahad. Uh, no, we're not going to get any more than that. Oh, well, 53,000 is not too bad. 
Could be worse. All right, so then we just need 4.2 million uh, tomorrow. Or whenever we do it, we can get a seed. I like seed. All right, see? Boom. Not bad. Okay, let's try the Oleg again, though. Come on, get a win. Uh -huh. Gosh, getting wrecked. We are not getting lucky last couple of fights. He, like, changed his patrons or something? Like, what the heck is going on? Could just be really bad luck. Wow, not going to kill Dorian again either. Oh, we got Dorian, ha. Huh? God, I got Iris, go, go. Nope. Didn't get Celeste. Okay, Oleg. No, it's the same patrons, it's just better luck on that one. Sometimes that happens. Luck, like I said, luck plays a factor. Like, so when you have heroes like Aurora and Heidi involved, luck can matter quite a bit. There's a lot of dodging and stuff going on. Um, let's see here. Oh, hey, we're going to get some emeralds back on that. That's cool. Did that already. Alrighty, let's go up here. We have not done that. Almost almost ready to evolve. Wow, we're getting a lot of tiny soul queen. We have a lot of gold again. I think we bought some the other day, huh? Alrighty. I think that's going to do it for this episode. I thank you all for watching. Come join me for the next one. We'll see you again soon.